Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be modifying our Sire P5 five string bass with a set of lightweight Goto tuners. Let's do this. This is my Sire P5 five string bass. I've already reviewed this bass very favorably because this is a nicely equipped five string P bass, which is something you don't see very often, especially in the sub $1,000 price point. And with the five string of P5 coming in at 599 or 639, this is a very affordable option, especially considering the features that it has with the roasted maple neck, lacquered fingerboard, alder body, and decent hardware overall. Though my one big gripe with their hardware was the tuners. Now on a lot of my Sire bases, I've swapped out the tuners for hip shot ultralights, which do require drilling a new hole to mount the tuners. Other than that though, they're pretty much a drop-in replacement, though you do have to use a bushing or the tape trick in order to get them to fit snug. Today, we are going to be installing a different set of tuners with the Goto GB528. And these are drop-in tuners for our sires, meaning we don't need to do any drilling as these will use the stock screw holes. Very nice. These also come in a little bit lighter than the Hipshot Ultralight licensed tuners as well, so that's going to add some additional weight savings. I've calculated that with the five string base, we're going to be saving about 0.43 pounds, nearly half a pound, off of the headstock of the Sire P5. Now I have criticized Sire in the past for just using these heavy tuners, and it does contribute to a bit of neck dive on some of their instruments, but I know they've listened to that feedback and have included Hipshot Ultralights on their P10 and V10 models models, which is very nice. However, for the mid-range models, we're still kind of out of luck in regards to having factory lightweight tuners, but we have these Gotos that are available, and again, will fit right in using the stock screw holes. So we are going to look at the weight and the balance of the P5 here in its stock form. Well, mostly stock. I swapped out the bridge for fun. I didn't do a video on that. I mean, it's a bridge swap. It's easy. <laughs> But we are going to look at the weight and the balance, do our little mod. We're not going to have to go to the workbench as this can be accomplished with a screwdriver and a socket and a little mallet to pop out the bushings. And then after that, we will look at the weight and the balance after our mod. Let's get to it. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. So currently our P5 five string bass weighs nine pounds on the dot. Very lightweight for a five string Fender style object. Balance wise though, in the lap, we do get quite a bit of neck dive because of these heavy tuners. With a strap, it does get a bit better. I am kind of leaning back to try to, you know, add a bit of tension and it is still pulling towards the ground a bit. And then standing up, it's, I feel it pulling, I mean, the neck wants to go down for sure, yep. But we are going to change that today with these Goto GB528 tuners. I believe each tuner can be had for around $20 to $30, around the same price as what you get the Hipshot Ultralight licensed tuners for. However, these seem to be more readily available right now at least. Now let's go ahead and do our tuner swap. I'm going to detune all the strings, and then we're going to remove our stock tuners and install the new ones. Okay, with our strings removed, we are going to unscrew our stock tuners with a drill. I mean, I just have a little tip on here. It'll be faster than the screwdriver, trust me. Okay, with our tuners removed, now we can remove the bushings. I've seen some people struggle with this. So to be clear, you are pushing it out from the back of the headstock. There's no need to pry from the front as you will damage the finish. All you need is a socket that can kind of fit in there and a mallet and you kind of just tap it. Comes right out. Now these tuners are slightly smaller than the existing Sire tuners and are only using two of the four screw holes. If that bothers you, you can fill the screw holes or, you know, put the screws back in or whatever. I personally don't care and I appreciate the weight savings. 
These also use a screw-on bushing similar to that of a hip shot, and there's a little washer that comes with them. Make sure you don't lose that washer. It goes right in and we can screw that down. And what we'll do is we'll tighten it by hand and then secure it with the screws before doing a final tighten with a socket. Now we're going to be utilizing these stock screws as the Goto screws are a little bit thicker and I don't really feel like drilling out these stock holes. Okay, with our tuners installed, we're gonna do a final alignment and tighten everything down by hand with a screwdriver and a socket. Okay, our Godo tuners are now finally installed. Let's reinstall our strings and then check our balance and our weight. Okay, already in the lap, I'm noticing a big difference in balance. We are still getting a bit of neck dive, but it is significantly reduced, and I definitely noticed the lesser weight on the headstock. With a strap, the neck dive has been eliminated. I have absolutely no tug on my shirt, and I'm not like fighting the base right now. Standing up, neck dive is gone as well. And how about that weight reduction? I'm now weighing this in at around 8.6 to 8.7 pounds. That is a significant reduction over the a hair over 9 pounds that we were at before. And all that has been reduced off of the headstock, improving playability and balance. But that will do it for this little mod series on our Sire P5 5-string bass. You can use the Goto GB528 tuners pretty much on any vintage style Sire. The U5, the P5, the V-series, anything besides the M-series should work with these tuners. I'm not going to provide any link down below to purchase these uh, because you can pretty much find them anywhere on eBay or Reverb and listing is kind of changed here and there. I don't want to be updating that all the time. But the model again is the Goto GB528. And these are lightweight tuners that are drop-ins for sires. But let me know what you think about this mod project and the final result down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Goto GB528 tuners on our Sire P5 5-string bass. And as always, until we groove again.